So let's go ahead and go to this interview with Charlie Sheen, demanding the truth. Charlie, it's great to be here with you. Uh, appreciate you uh, doing this interview. Likewise, Alex. Thank you. Why, after three years of silence concerning 9-11, uh, are you now speaking up? And why have you written this public letter that you've now uh, published? Well, Alex, uh, I wrote this letter for, for two reasons. Uh, firstly, I, I, I wanted to create a public document specifically rooted in fact. Uh, if anybody dares question that, I, I, I would encourage those people to, 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 to scrutinize it, to research it. Uh, the, the truth is unchanging, Alex, as we both know. Uh, the only aspect of this piece that, that, that had to be manufactured were the president's words. Everything else will withstand the critical assault I'm, I'm more than prepared to endure. And secondly, um, this is our first new president since 9-11, and uh, consequently his first 9-11 anniversary in office. Um, Enough stonewalling, enough media manipulation, enough media mantra speak. The families deserve better, Alex. America deserves better. I mean, come on. Come on, people. The 9-11 Commission report is a blatant work of manipulation, secrecy, and fiction. Come on. The time is now. Demand the truth. I personally cannot stand idly by any longer and pretend like a, uh, a, a new investigation is just going to fall out of the heavens right into our Congress. We have to take action. We have to stand as one. We must insist that our new president deliver on his promises. And that's why, Alex, that's why I've gone right to the top with this. That's why I'm asking the president to read my letter, to answer my questions in person, and to call for a, for a real and open investigation, finally. Charlie, I noticed that uh, in your letter to the president, you make the point that several members of the 9-11 Commission, including the chairman, have said that the Pentagon lied to them, that, that there were a lot of uh, distortions involved. And the chief counsel, Mr. Farmer, is now writing a tell-all book and has been interviewed by the Washington Post. He's out there saying that they met secretly with the Pentagon and agreed to, quote, lie about almost everything in the commission. So anybody that criticizes you, I just want to say right here and right now, this is insanity. You've read the report. We've gone over all the documents. Uh, the people on the commission are saying it's a fraud. So uh, this isn't about Charlie Sheen or Alex Jones. It's about Barack Obama because he's the new president. He's in there. George Bush is gone. That was like talking to a brick wall. And uh, we've got to have a real investigation. We haven't had a real investigation yet. We've got all these blacked out pages in the first report, 900 pages. A bunch of pages in the 9-11 Commission report are blacked out. I mean, I know I'm ranting here, but what do you say to that? Because it's in your letter. I mean, you're only pointing out that the commission itself says it's a fraud. Well, I had faith that as time went on, that more would be revealed. Month after month, year after year, more has continually been revealed. And as you have stated, uh, these are the questions, these are the facts, these are the issues that found their way into my letter. Because, as I said, not as a challenge, just to, just to not be misrepresented, just to not be. Month after month, year after year, more has continually been revealed. And as you have stated, uh, these are the questions. These are the facts. These are the issues that found their way into my letter because, as I said, not as a challenge, just to just to not be misrepresented, just to not be. I counter you saying, how dare you question the official story that will hurt the victim's family's feelings. Uh, I've talked to Bill Doyle, the head of the biggest family group, and he says he believes that uh, we've been lied to about 9-11. We see national polls uh, upwards of 83 percent questioning the official story. I mean, really, we're the majority out there. What's your take on this? I mean, do you see this asinine that every time we ask these serious questions that the establishment uh, media and the politicians try to say, no, no, you're not allowed to ask questions. That's un-American. Teddy Roosevelt said that it's quintessentially American to love your country, but to question your government. And with all the cover-ups we've seen, all the lies about WMDs and everything else, and the commission itself coming out and saying that, the, that, that they agreed to basically lie, uh, I mean, what's your take on the fact that they're probably going to come out and say, how dare you ask these questions? Alex, I actually addressed that in my open letter in 20 Minutes with the President, where I discussed that the message we carry, and by we, uh, myself, America, and most importantly, uh, the victim 
family members uh, where I do discuss um, this message will not be silenced anymore by the media fueled mantras insisting how they feel and deciding for them for eight long years what can be thought, what can be said, what can be asked. Even during the 9-11 Commission, the audience was filled with family members screaming that it was a fraud and a lie. You know, uh, they've been all over the news saying they want a new investigation. How dare the media imply then that it hurts the family's feelings to ask for one. They want a real investigation. I mean, come on, Alex. It was all over the news during the 9-11 Commission investigation uh, that the family members were deeply frustrated. And the questions that they needed to have asked never saw the light of day, never found those words, never found their way onto the page into that report. And so we're not we're not just, you know, assuming or believing that because we're told that it's offensive to the families to question all of this. We know for a fact that this is not the case. We know that they've been calling for a new investigation. They've been demanding the truth. They've been looking beyond what they've been force fed and and told was the correct way to behave about their murdered family members. Charlie, what about all the experts? Uh, What is now over 800 different architects, engineers and architects, engineers for 9-11 Truth? that have signed public letters and written reports detailing uh, that it was impossible the way the towers and Building 7 fell uh, in the official story. And we have all these physicists coming out, and we have uh, other celebrities coming out, too, like Willie Nelson and uh, Governor Jesse Ventura. Uh, What has it been like the last three years uh, watching all of this unfold? It's exciting, Alex. It's encouraging. It gives me hope. But 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 rather than categorizing uh, the different different groups in the movement as the the, the architectural group, the scientific group, uh, I think it's important that, that that we all just view ourselves as people of logic. What they're asking us to do, essentially what they're asking us to do is they're asking us to completely suspend everything we have learned and know to be true for our entire lives. And they are asking us on one specific day to take all of that knowledge, all of that experience, all of that truth, stand it on its ear, throw it out the window and 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 worship a new form of physics, worship a new form of reality. All right. We'll be right back. We're continuing with this historic interview with Charlie Sheen as he breaks his silence about 9-11. And we've got a special call to action video coming up tomorrow and then Friday, Charlie Sheen live on the show. For those who just tuned in, he was live for about eight, nine minutes, did you time it out with us, uh, at the bottom of the hour. So 30 minutes into the show, definitely want to tune in for that on the retransmissions if you missed it. Making big national news. Let's continue, and we'll go out to break with this and then come back and finish up the interview after the break. Stay with us. What they're asking us to do, essentially what they're asking us to do, is they're asking us to completely suspend everything we have learned and know to be true for our entire lives. And they are asking us on one specific day to take all of that knowledge, all of that experience, all of that truth, stand it on its ear, throw it out the window, and 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 worship a new form of physics, worship a new form of reality that is completely inconsistent with everything we know in each and every cell of our entire being. And it's important to note, Alex, that we're not just asked, we are told to believe these things. And then we are demonized for questioning them. As a free human being, as a free American, you're supposed to be able to question the government. And you got Building 7, 47-story building with a CIA headquartered in it, falls at free fall speed. NIST has now admitted that after denying it for years. And then we're demonized for asking questions when the 9-11 Commission itself and their chief counsel is saying it's a fraud and is writing a tell-all book. I see this whole cover-up collapsing just like those buildings do when they blow them sky high. Well, Alex, all we can do, all we can do is continue to ask the questions, continue to apply the pressure, continue to insist that, no, this is not good enough. We are better than this. We deserve better than this. And, and, and we will not settle for anything shy of that. That's the big question, Charlie. Why are you doing this? Why did you do it three years ago? Why now today? What is it that drives you that makes you different from a lot of big Hollywood uh, stars? I mean, you're you know, super A-list, top of your game. And why are you focused on these issues when so many other people, uh, you know, at your level are 
you know, worried about their skin cream. Alex, for 26 years, more than half of my life, I have been creating fiction for a living. So believe me when I tell you, I, I, I recognize it when it, when it presents itself and even more so when it is forced into my grill. So on that note, Alex, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer afraid to say that, that, that the official 9-11 story is, is an absolute fairy tale, a complete work of fiction and not even a very good one. Well, your letter makes perfect sense on that point. This thing is a work of fiction. They admit it's a fraud. It's been proven to be a lie from end to end. But we don't know exactly what happened that day. Hence, we do need to have a new investigation. Are you confident that Congress could engage in a free and open, impartial uh, you know, new commission? Or would they use the excuse of national security to cover up again?